We have long attested that there is substantial evidence to be found within the many ancient ruins which span the continents of the earth. Evidence to suggest that said relics were in reality not constructed by their currently claimed constructors. Not only are there often advanced features shown to have been far out of the capabilities of the claimed culprits, our more recent ancestors, but additionally, many of these ruins are also indicative of not one, but several past, highly advanced, world-conquering, yet now lost super-civilizations. Evidence which indicates that advanced civilization has flourished and fallen many times, a legacy currently lost in the past, yet as the evidence of their lives, and indeed the dates of their demise becomes a pursuit of modern researchers, they are now fortunately beginning to unravel here in the modern age, and the Toba catastrophe is one such area of study. One which we believe could strongly indicate the date of the end of one of these ancient civilizations. We've in the past covered the intriguing tablet once found within the now exposed super ruin, now all but consumed by the Guatemalan rainforest. Found at the well-known site of Tikal, this tablet depicts a cataclysmic event, a super volcanic eruption which is depicted as having been followed by a great deluge. The tablet has since been stolen, which merely adds to its past validity. But this event could explain the Mayans' obsession with calendars and their predicting the end times. But I digress, the Toba event was a super eruption that occurred about 75,000 years ago in what is now known as present-day Lake Toba, Sumatra, Indonesia. This enormous lake was formed almost instantly when Toba decided to belch the Earth's core into the atmosphere many years ago. It is one of the Earth's largest ever eruptions. The theory holds that this event caused a global volcanic winter, which lasted between 6 to 10 years. This also triggered a 1,000 year long cooling episode. If there was a densely populated civilization alive at the time, a civilization akin to that of the Guatemalan mega metropolis mentioned previously, now estimated to have had a past population in excess of 10 million, such an event and the long lasting climactic changes which followed would have devastated crops and industry as a whole, and such a huge event that it would have undoubtedly make a past civilization crash, an event that even us within our own technological age simply could not cope with, and would also unquestionably experience a population crash and a grinding halt of practically all industries and economies. An event which would reset us not only biologically, but also technologically. Why were the Mayans obsessed with end times? Why were Neoliths obsessed with solar activity? Perhaps they experienced something which caused this fixation. And it is not just us who suspect this event having once caused trauma and death. In 1993, science journalist Ann Gibbons also posited that a population bottleneck occurred in human development about 70,000 years ago, and she suggested that this was caused by the eruption. Geologist Michael R. Rampino of New York University and volcanologist Stephen Self of the University of Hawaii at Manoa support her suggestion. In 1998, the bottleneck theory was further developed by anthropologist Stanley H. Ambrose of the University of Illinois at Urbana-Champaign. However, predictably, the event's consequences, along with the many global winter theories, remain a touchy subject within mainstream academia and is still a highly controversial area of study. Did the Toba eruption cause the demise of a past lost civilization? With this date of 70,000 years, it at least gives us a target for exploration, one which we find highly compelling.